What's your like thriller, scary film behavior? Can you just watch or like- Oh, I love it. I, I do this. I do. I put one, one ear and I go like that. When it's like a slasher, I can just watch it because for some reason those films don't scare me. But when it's like a really psychological one, like one that really seeps into you, like I'm just gripping my seat. I kind of do squint a bit. I enjoy seeing it in a cinema with other people because I love seeing, other, like hearing everyone going on this journey together. It's so fun. I was immediately drawn in because I hadn't seen an origin story of the Brides of Dracula. And I was like, well, this is fresh. This is what I want to do. <gasps> <laughs> we filmed for six months in Hungary, in um, in Budapest and surrounding areas. And actually, uh, Vlad the Impaler, who the original Dracula is based upon, was um, imprisoned underneath the castle that's in Budapest. So we, I could actually go visit, you know, that area. You know what I mean? And it was just, it was just so crazy. It was just a city that it felt like we were meant to be there. The house that was was built by the sort of great, 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 great grandson of this woman who allegedly would um, kill the women and like virgins and like bathe in their blood. And apparently she was a very powerful woman, very wealthy, had a lot of influence. And for the time that wasn't exactly liked. And so there was a bit of a show trial and there's a high possibility that she probably was accused of these outlandish things in order to like, oh. you know, to topple her power. It's a really beautiful, but it is quite a creepy house. I mean, yeah. there's all these um, portraits everywhere that are quite, you know, quite creepy. You walk into this room and there's they're all around, and there there's a very sort of there's an energy that comes with that. And there's a, there's a portrait of her, and I was fascinated by it. I just would sometimes just go and look at look at her because her presence was very, you know, kind of ominous and scary.